Hello, lovelies. Welcome to our Tiny Owl Yarns trunk show. Yay! Uh, I should tell you to start off, uh, all of the yarns, fiber, and project bags that we're going to look at today are available for sale or available for purchase on our website, lovelyyarns.com forward slash shop, or you can go straight to the trunk show page, which is lovelyyarns.com forward slash tiny owl. So let's get started. So Morgan, as discussed in the interview with the dyer, I don't know if you saw, um, but we went over some of the bases when we talked to her. Uh, this is the price list, which also, if you go online, you'll see the prices for the different bases. Um, most of the yarns are under $30, except for the Yak, which is here. So this is the Yak fingering. We have a skein each of purple, pink, and teal. And these are $32 each. The Yak fingering is 65% superwash merino, 20% silk. 15% yak and you get 438 yards per hank. Very lovely. Now yak in its natural state is sort of brownish and that's why it has um, this silvery undertone in the spots without speckles. So her other fingering yarns are, we have Bailey, which is here. So it's this row and this row. These are the Bailey. This one on the end, Remix. This one will do a gradient, so it will go from blue to ochre, yellow to purple. So this is Remix. The Bailey is 80% Superwash Blue Face Lester, 20% Nylon. It's fingering, of course, and you get 400 yards per hank. And the Bailey is $27 each. Uh, next to Remix is Petunias. And I think Petunias will stripe if you make socks. Uh, then we have Starry Skies, Sea Glass, which is real pretty blues, green, some sunny yellow. This one is Punk Princess. So we've got like pink and blue and green, a little bit of orangey red. It's a pretty colorway. And then this one that's like icy blue with white and gray. This one is Snowy Night. Oh, you can picture that one. Next to Snowy Night is this lovely here, is Lakeside. Lakeside has like a little bit of brownish, along with the blue and real pale foamy green and some white. And then next to Lakeside is Blooming Almond. So Morgan's got a lot of colorways that are named after flowers. Um, some are after other things in nature. She did do a series once of hummingbirds. Uh, also, she's got some fandom colorways too that we'll see as we go along. For instance, this one is Captain. Got the red, white, and blue, Captain America. And then next to Captain is Gray Heather. Sort of like a mauve with some gray. That's really lovely. And then is Purple Sage. So it's a little bit of lilac here with this pretty like pale sagey green and some pale blue green, a little bit of speckly fleck. And then there's crocus. Crocus has a little more, um, it's got some more yellowy green and see it's got like this speckle. So like the middle of the crocus. And then this is beguiling eyes. I think that's an orchid. I think it's a type of orchid. Um, all of you uh, flower junkies and orchid fans who know more than I, I'm sure I'll have some corrections <laughs> in the comments. So this is Beguiling Eyes. has a real pretty pink, pinky orange speckle going on. Next to Beguiling Eyes here is Tequila Sunrise. This is one of my favorite colorways. I love this with the bright yellow and sunny orange. Perfect. Next to, to Tequila Sunrise is Pumpkin sort of autumnal. And then we've got Ichabod. So think about Ichabod Crane. So it's more of a Halloween-y. Got a little bit of gray, a little bit of brown. And that's all of the Bailey. And then the Bailey also comes in a tweed. The tweed is $1 more. And this too is a fingering weight. It's $28 a skein. And on Bailey, you get 438 yards. It, 
It's 85% Superwash Blue Face Luster, 15% Donegal Neps. That's the little flecky bits. Uh, so this is Pumpkin again. And then Bonfire. Oh my God, I love this. And I've got two skeins of Bonfire and that's exactly what it looks like. And then we've got Pink Orchid, semi-solid. Antique Mauve, another lovely semi-solid. We've got Amethyst sort of purple with gray. Think about like amethyst growing in a geode. And then of course, mermaid, which Morgan said was one of her favorites. We've got mermaid on a few different bases as well. And then down here, this one is camo pants. Some really good neutrals, I'm liking this colorway a lot. Next to camo pants is starry skies again. Next to Scar Starry, Scarry Sky, Starry Sky is Great Blue Heron. This is a lovely colorway. I really like this one with the grays and denim blues. And next to Great Blue Heron is Sage. And below the Baileys, all right, we've got fiber. I guess we can talk a little bit about fiber since we're here. Um, we've got two four ounce braids of Rambouillet. Rambouillet is like French Merino. It's a breed that's been around for a long, long time. Um, the fiber is like really nice and soft. It drafts really beautifully, great for spinning. This one is Rainbow. And then next to Rainbow is Mermaid. Great colorway. I love how the color comes out on the spinning fiber. And then we've got here some Corydale Cross. Corydale Cross is its own breed of sheep. We've put a little information about Corydale Cross sheep uh, on the website. If you go and like click on any one of these colorways to purchase, you'll find some more info on Cory Cross. Also, you can look on the ever knowledgeable Google and find out lots. Um, this one here, this is Drax, some guardians of of the galaxy colorway. That's Drax. And then next to Drax is Amethyst. And remember how the Amethyst looked on the tweed? Cool, eh? Interesting how it comes out. And then of course is Monet. And then next to Monet is Camo Pants. And we can do the same. We can hold Camo Pants up to Camo Pant yarn. Look how cool that is. See, same colors, different base. Love it, love it. I really do like this neutral um, olivey green with the muty like gray brown. Like I love that, it's such a great color. And then down here we've got uh, four ounce braids of Merino top. This of course is rainbow. I think rainbow is probably the most popular thing here at Lovely Yarns. And next to rainbow is tulips. And then we've got Beach Escape. Look at that, all those summery blues with the yellow. Love it. And then next to the Beach Escape, look at that. Oh, love that. That's so pretty. Uh, this one is Peacock Feathers. It's like my two favorite colors, teal and purple. <laughs> Okay, and then we've got Toucan, which is bright sunny yellow, like orange yellow with some green and a little bit of charcoal down the end. And the nice thing about um, when you're spinning uh, multi-tone braids like this, you can always separate the colors and pull them apart and then ply them however you wish. And then of course this is Sugar Plum. Sugar Plum is a little pinker than Amethyst. Notice the Amethyst is like all purple gray. Well here. See, there's the difference. Sugar plum, amethyst. Sugar plum, amethyst. And then this last one that's like underwater blues. Oh, I love that. It's so pretty. This one is aquarium. And Morgan's dyed aquarium on some of her yarn. Now above the merino is we've got some Polworth silk. Uh, this is a four ounce fatty braid. Look how soft that is. You can see the shiny silk. This colorway is hydrangea. Sort of like a pale yellow green with blues and lilac. And if you think about like what hydrangea plants look like, it's exactly this color. Morgan's got such a great eye for like just subtle color blends. This is the same base and this colorway is sea nymph. 
love this aqua. Her aqua is like her blues and greens are just divine. And then look, you can see the pretty silk combed in. Just lovely. And then the last two fiber braids that we have, um, we have two four ounce two four ounce braids of her marshmallow blend, which is alpaca, merino, and silk. This colorway is a macaron. Look how pretty. Just like candy cookies. <laughs> and of course, then she also did sugar plum. And it is insanely soft. Because not only is alpaca soft and it drafts beautifully but then of course it's got the silk and merino in so it's made of all the soft things just all of them and that's all the fiber that she brought this time then above our fiber we've got her ellie base which is a fingering weight superwash merino it's 75 merino or 75 superwash merino 25 percent nylon you get 463 yards per skein and the colorways are this is blueberries and cream so here take you over here so you can get a better look at the color I think in I think it's showing up a little yellower on my screen in real life the creamy part of this is a little peachier um, and the blue is definitely it's like a denim -y blue I think like you know when you get blueberries fresh in the bin and they sort of have like that dusty blue color it's sort of like that so it's blueberries and cream there's two of those and then next to blueberries and cream we have moody we have two of these and Morgan did say, and because um, we've got like ones, twos, and threes of each colorway, and I think on the Erin weight we've got some fours, uh, Morgan did say that she can repeat these colors and she could dye up sweater quantity for you if you like. She's happy to do and fulfill special orders. And then this white with charcoal speckle is called Winter. Beautiful. Next to Winter, we have Tidal Pool. Oh, and look at that. That's just really nice. It's fun, like when you think about like the, when you're reading the colorway names, they do sort of evoke an image in your mind. And I just see, you know, like the Assateague shore with little sandpipers running around. You know, they go D -d 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 into the water and then D -d 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 out, you know, they kind of follow the tide and get chased by the water. That's Tidal Pool. And then this is Sunflowers. We've had Sunflowers here at the shop before and this is a really nice colorway got this blue um, the green is <laughs> depending on how it's twisted but there is some pale yellow in there as well for the sunny part of the sunflower there it is and then up here we have dusk which is blues and violets and a little bit of plum sort of like a plummier violet like a little bit of a redder violet and then a denim charcoal blue like dusk, the lights go dim, the bats fly around eating all the mosquitoes. This one is morning glory and looks just like one with the blues and violets. And then of course our favorite rainbow. Can't have trunk shows without rainbow yarn. We love rainbows. Rainbow, check, sparkle, check. And then this, there's four of these. This is orchid. And it's like this bright orange yellow with a pretty mauve and um, just like this nice lush leafy green. And then this one is unicorn tail. I'm dating myself, but I don't know if any of you remember Rainbow Bright. And she had, she have a Pegasus, a Pegasus unicorn. And it had a rainbow mane like that. And then next to Unicorn Tail, lastly, this is a neon rainbow. My friend Jessica, who has been on our channel before, she was saying this is sort of like a um, highlighter variety pack is what this looks like. <laughs> and that's all of the Ellie. And then over here, um, the rest of the fingering yarn, we have the Rufus, uh, which is, are these colorways up here. And then below Rufus is Alice here and here. And then we've got sparkles. Yay, sparkles. And then we have some other lovelies. So let's take a look at the Rufus. So Rufus, oh, and I should tell you the Ellie 
is how much is the LA is $26 per skein. That's a crazy good deal, you guys. Also, the fiber, the Polworth silk, that is this. The Polworth silk is $28 each. The marshmallow blend is $23. The merino top is a great deal at only $16. That's a crazy good deal. Um, the Cory Cross, wow, Cory Cross is only $12.50. This might be the most affordable fiber this side of the Mississippi. I love it. It's so gorgeous. And she said, yep, that's the price. So that's the price. And then, of course, last but not least, is our Rambouillet is $25. Beautiful. Okay, so back to business. Here is the Rufus. Rufus is $28 a hank. And Rufus is comprised of 60% superwash merino, 20% superfine alpaca, 20% nylon, a fingering weight yarn, and it comes in at 437 yards per 100 gram hank. So in the skein in my hand, there's two of these, and this one is Jack, like Jack-o-lantern. So like that pumpkin-y orange with a little gray speckle. Cars outside honking. <laughs> um, we're recording in the afternoon, a little different. So this is then Water Lilies. This is like, um, this is similar to the Monet, just a little paler. Looks like it's got some of the same colorway. It's just not quite as vibrant. Pretty, and I've got two of those. And then here's Hydrangea, which we saw on the Polworth silk fiber. And here it is on some yarn. And also on our website, if you're wondering what to do with any of these beauties, um, I went and did a great RAV search and found some really fun pattern ideas. Please go check it out and see what they are. This is Rain Cloud. If you click on the images of the pattern idea that I stuck on the page, uh, it'll take you right to the Ravelry pattern page so you can download a copy or purchase and download a copy if it's not a free pattern. I think some of them might be free. Rain cloud, this is great. So it looks like the clouds and then you've got these little blue streaks or I guess it was bleeding speckles, which are the raindrops. That's really nice. Such a, it's just it's like a lovely subtle colorway, but I, I really like it. Uh, next to rain cloud again is great blue heron. So here's great blue heron on the Rufus. And we also had the great blue heron on our Bailey Tweed. So here we go, Rufus and Tweed. Both yarn, different base. Same colorway, different base. See, I guess the BFL really does suck up the color because it's a little bit more intense. Blue face Lester sheep are so cute. They have like these Roman noses. So, and it looks so, and that's all, these are all of the Rufus I have two of each except for rain cloud I have one and then below Rufus is Alice Alice is $26 per skein uh, Alice is let's see here 80% superwash merino 20% bamboo 100% crazy soft you get 436 yards per 100 gram Hank this color in my hand is Thank you, Siren. Uh, this one is Europa, named for one of the moons of Jupiter. Look at that. I think that's right. This, Europa is one of Jupiter's moons, right? I think so. So look at that. That's just gorgeous. I love this colorway. I think we talked about this on our interview video too. Uh, there are two of these. And then next to Europa is Fairy Wings. It's got a little bit of rainbow speckling going on. Like a pixie party. There we go. That's fun. And then there's two Fairy Wings. And there are two skeins of Monet, which is here. Remember, so here's Monet on yarn. And here's Monet on Cory Cross. Pretty cool, so pretty. Um, and then of course, great blue heron again. And you really wanna see a big difference. So here's, look, so this is the Alice. We'll line them all up. 
Like the bamboo just, the bamboo content makes the color a little less saturated. So this is the Merino bamboo. This is the Merino alpaca. And then this is the blue face Lester. All the same colorway, three different bases. Like the change is like a little subtle, but it's very drastic from the Alice to the Tweed. Just in case you were curious. I remember and the Alice is only $26 a hank. Um, so you get a bunch of it. You should get at least one of each. <laughs> and then on the row below, uh, we have this lilac cream, which I am really loving. I was thinking about this colorway this morning and how much I really liked it. It's just, oh. look at that. I'm just all about this blendy bit here. This would be really nice on like a lace something, lace anything, lace socks, lace shawl, lace sweater, lacy summer cover up. Uh, and then next to this is ice cream sprinkles. Look at that, look at those speckles. Oh, that's just super fun. So like vanilla soft serve with a bunch of rainbow sprinkles on it. Yummy. Here we go. And then next to ice cream sprinkles, we have Cleo. Sort of aqua, silvery brown, and white. There's only one of Cleo left. And then, of course, we have aquarium. Where did we have aquarium before? Oh, yeah. We had aquarium fiber. I love it. So pretty. Okay, so that's all the regular fingering weight yarn. So now, of course, we're gonna talk about some sparkles. So there are two sparkle bases. One of them is Lilu, which are these three yarns here, and the other is Aggie, which is this one here. So the difference is the Lilu has Stellina that's been spun into the yarn, and the ply is a little bit um, tighter. And then over here, the Aggie has been spun with, um, uh, with Lorax and the Lorax has a slightly different, less hairy quality than the Stellina. Both are very soft and both bases are very popular here. The hot pink and gray is Raspberry Rain. The one next to it is my fave, Tequila Sunrise. And you can see it's like really nice, subtle adult sparkle. This would be great for some sort of like summer lacy top. Like you could put all three of these together in the same thing and that would look amazing. Because I do like the way all three of these look together, of course. And then next to Tequila Sunrise, we have Thunderstorm. And this has a little bit of rain speckling on it. Look at that. And then moving on to the Aggie, this one is October Sky, which is different from the Tequila Sunrise because October Sky is like pink and yellow and the Tequila Sunrise is really orange yellows. This has definitely got more fuchsias and pinks in it. And I love the salmon -y color. See how the sparkle is different? Like it's definitely, it's a more pronounced sparkle. And this is so soft. Um, you could do, so the difference is, the Lilu will do socks just fine. The Aggie, I would not recommend for socks because of how it is spun. It's like a woolen spun yarn. And therefore I think behaves better in a garment or a shawl rather than something that's gonna have uh, a really tight gauge like on your feet like socks. Cause I don't know that it's gonna wear as well as some other bases for socks. Um, the Aggie is 90% Merino, 10% Lurex, and it's 411 yards. The Raspberry Rain, the Lilu, sorry, Lilu is 75 Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon, and 5% Stellina. So that Nylon is, like, when you're making socks, you want to look for fingering, fingering weight yarns that do have some Nylon in, generally speaking, because the Nylon will give your yarn some extra strength for stress points on your heels and toes. The Lilu is $27 a skein, and the Aggie is $28. So we've got October Sky, and this one is Beach Escape. And then next to Beach Escape is Pacific. Oh, look at that. Some really nice speckles. And similar to Pacific is Frog Pond, which also I really like. Shocker, I know. 
Well, let's face it. I like all of Morgan's colors. They're just stunning. And I'm really happy to have all of them here at our shop so I can see them every day. And then these two are, this is both, these are both hydrangea. You can tell. Because it's got this. And then next to hydrangea, this is Gamora. This is another Marvel Universe Guardians of the Galaxy colorway. Because it looks like her. Okay. And then we have fairy wings on the sparkle base. So if you recall, this one here also is fairy wings on Alice. Different. It's nice how the, it's interest, interesting to see how the yarn comes out on the different bases for sure. And then next to fairy wings is Groot. Another Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy. I am Groot. And I love this colorway. I know we keep saying that. We like them all. Let's face it. So you should get one of each. Okay. And this, the speckles are fabulous. Just really, really nice. And Morgan had said in her interview that when she does her speckles, she lets them bleed a little bit because she likes how it looks. And then finally, the last colorway of the Aggie is Starry Sky. So if you recall, we have Starry Sky over here on the tweed base. Look at that. Pretty. Okay. And then should we have up here, this is our Clyde Bay, her Clyde base, which is a sport weight yarn. These three skeins here, it's like a triptych painting, right? So this is a rainbow in pieces. This is piece one, piece two, and piece three. And then on the end, of course, I have two skeins of twilight. I think it'd be really interesting to do a sweater in all of those because then you've got like your whole day, sorta. So the Clyde is, how much is the Clyde? $25 a hank, so really not bad. You could get all five skeins of Clyde for only $125 and make a sweater, and that is a steal for hand-dyed yarn. Oh my gosh, so good. And the Clyde is 80% merino, 20% nylon, and you get 328 yards per hank. And then we're gonna talk about some DK. This is Drusilla. There are three colorways of Drusilla. The gray and red is Wade Wilson. So if you're a Deadpool fan, then this may be the yarn for you. And the Drusilla is 100% superwash merino and you get 231 yards per 100 gram hank. And we also have it in Caribbean Breeze. And then the darker blue and oceany green is ocean. And I have two of ocean. So, and the Drusilla is $23 a hank. Crazy deal. Now let's go back up here for you lace weight fans. There are five different colorways of lace. I have two skeins of each of them. The lace is called Lucy. And Lucy is $24 a hank. And for your $24, you get 926 yards of 100% superwash merino. And that is the deal of the day. Ding, 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 ding. It's so crazy. It's so much yardage. Uh, this colorway is Rain Cloud. So look, so Rain Cloud on lace, Rain Cloud on Rufus. Pretty. And then next to Rain Cloud is Thunderstorm. And next to Thunderstorm is Tidal Pool. And then we have Temporal Anomaly, which is sort of this maroony red and the leafy green. And then lastly, we have Vavoom. I love it. Vavoom, because of that pink. Hello. All right. And then below, we have Brushed uh, Alpaca, Brushed Baby Alpaca, which is uh, Brushed Baby Surrey alpaca. That's what it is. Brushed Surrey alpaca. And the, the baby cereal. So this base is called Shay, S-H-A-Y. And it is 74% baby Surrey alpaca and 20% silk. And you get 328 yards per 50 gram hank. Each hank of the Shay is only $26. So the brush Surrey alpaca is similar to mohair silk. Um, 
patterns that call for a mohair silk blend. You can also use the brush Surrey Alpaca and vice versa. It behaves in much the same way. The alpaca is a little softer and less likely to stick to itself. So in the colorways in this lovely rainbow art, we have gray stone, royal purple, ballerina, which is a little softer. It's got some pink in it. Uh, we have pink orchid, saffron spice, this one is duckling. I really like duckling. So let's get up close so you can see. Look how soft that is. So this is the single strand. So it's skinny stuff. I like to hold it with something or to hold it double stranded. Pretty. So here we are, duckling, which is like a really nice pale yellow, but it's got like some subtle pinks and peaches and orange speckle in really pretty colorway and then we have aquarium and lastly we have frozen which is a nice icy blue and then over here we have otis which is her iron weight yarn and the otis is 27 dollars per hank i've got four hanks of each colorway except for this one on the end thrush which is this pale putty with a little bit of brown fleck i have two of those Next to Thrush, we have Bluebird. And next to Bluebird, I've got Monet again. And the Otis, so iron weight, you can use for like chunky or worsted, it's sort of in between. It's a 100% blue face Lester and you get 181 yards per 100 gram hank. And then of course, this lovely bright orange yellow is Articula Sunrise. Next to it is Porcelain Berries. I love these speckles. And then lastly is violets. Look at those. Gorgeous. And then of course we have a pile of minis. Some of them are the Lilu base. Some are the Ellie base. The neutral tones are plant dyes. And then the brighter colors here of the Ellie, these are her acid dyes. And then of course we have all these adorable project bags that she has made which are reversible project bags are thirty dollars each and the minis are six dollars for the ellie and seven dollars for the lilo thank you guys so much for watching enjoy the rest of your day uh you can reach us at lovelyyarns at gmail.com and you can shop the show lovelyyarns.com forward slash tiny owl thanks so much and happy stitching